In the German city of Cologne, people are standing in line at a supermarket on a sunny morning carrying bags filled with bottles and cans. However, they choose not to purchase. Instead, they're giving them back. The procedure is simple. The customers who purchase their drinks also pay the deposit or fand. In addition to the price of the beverage, they receive their money back from the shop when they return their bottles and cans. In this video, we will talk about why 99% of bottles in Germany get returned. But before that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more amazing content. Let's start the video now without further delay. Customers in Germany follow the bottle deposit program diligently. But how exactly does it operate? Is it a role model that other nations could adopt? Thomas Fischer, director of the NGO Environmental Action Germany Circular Economy Program, claims that until 2003, around 3 billion disposable beverage containers were discarded in the environment every year. The nation now claims a return rate of more than 99%. That's not conceivable to increase the rate, according to Fischer. The Fan System The Fan method used in Germany uses two different kinds of bottles. The first can be constructed of glass or PET plastic and has producers set deposit fees ranging from 0.8 euros to 0.25 euros. It can also be reused numerous times. The second category consists of single-use containers, which are used just once before being recycled, as the name implies. The government has set the deposit amount of these at 0.25 euros. Although the fan system is just a matter of putting empties into a machine for consumers, what occurs afterwards is a little more complicated. Adventurous Bottles A long trip begins when a refillable bottle of, let's say, cola is brought back to the store. It is sent by a wholesaler of alcoholic beverages along with a truckload of empty bottles to a sorting plant, where it is placed with other bottles of the same shape before being delivered to a manufacturer who employs that specific type of bottle. It is cleaned, refilled, and then brought back to a shelf at the store for further purchase there. According to the government-run German Environment Agency or UBA, a glass container of this type can be filled up to 50 times without losing quality. The reuse rate for plastic bottles that can be reused is 25. Different principles apply to single-use bottles. After being gathered in store, they are sent to a recycling facility where they are shredded into pellets and used to make new plastic bottles, textiles, or other plastic products like detergent containers. Which choice is more environmentally friendly? Gerard Kotchik, a packaging expert at UBA, said in an interview that the deposit system for both single-use and reusable bottles reduces the number of fossil fuels used to make new bottles, which saves raw materials, energy, and CO2 emissions. Additionally, recycling single-use bottles yields food-grade material as opposed to recycling a bag of mixed plastics. Due to this, Budget stores like Aldi and Lidl primarily sell single-use containers while promoting the environmental benefits of their recycling efforts. We utilize up to 70% less virgin PET material today than we did a few years ago, a Lidl representative said in an interview. The popularity of single-use items has nevertheless increased as a result of this. Uwe Kleinert, head of sustainability at Coca-Cola Germany, said in an interview that if we want to remain competitive, we must sell our beverages in grocery stores and convenience stores. Use of reusable bottles According to data from the DUH, Coca-Cola's use of reusable bottles decreased from 56% to 42% in 2015. According to Break Free from Plastic, a group of NGOs fighting to lessen plastic waste, the corporation joins PepsiCo as one of the major plastic polluters in the world. However, several Coca-Cola's beverage are available in glass and reusable plastic bottles in Germany. Single-use bottles are currently produced by the Schwarz Group, to which the bargain retailer Little belongs for its own products. The business claims to use recycled PET. They claim that only the labels and lid are not created entirely from recycled plastic. However, reusable bottles are generally considered to be more environmentally beneficial than single-use packaging, according to environmentalists. The DUH claims that 100% recycled single-use plastic bottles still account for a small portion of the market. The DUH claims that material is also lost during every step of the recycling process. 
there is no closed loop whereby material may be turned into a new product endlessly without losing any of its qualities. The majority of these bottles still need to be made using raw ingredients that come from fossil fuels. According to Fischer, single-use PET bottles in Germany typically include 26% recycled material. According to Gerard Kotschek of the UBA, recyclable plastic bottles are also shredded into recyclable PET granules. When a bottle has used up all of its refills, or when it can no longer be utilized in its original form, this occurs. In an interview, Kotschek stated that we always encourage buying reusable drinking containers from the region, adding that recycling only becomes the ideal choice once a bottle has used up all of its refills. But completely avoiding waste is even better. Confusion over labeling Reusable bottles are not required to have a uniform symbol, unlike single-use bottles, and their labels may contain phrases like returnable bottle, deposit bottle, returnable or reusable bottle. Retailers must indicate whether bottles are single-use or multi-use on their store shelves, although one sign within the store is sufficient for a retailer that only sells single-use bottles. This is criticized by environmental groups as being insufficient, groups like the German NGO Nature and Biodiversity Conservation Union. According to a recent survey, 42% of individuals in Germany still believe that all deposit bottles, even single-use bottles, are refilled, even though the majority of customers can now tell whether a bottle is single or multi-use. Who benefits from the deposit return system? Only selling single-use bottles allows stores to avoid the logistical costs associated with reusable containers. They also profit from the recycling and subsequent sale of high-grade PET. According to Kleinert, recycled PET is more expensive than new PET generated from oil, but it's essential to fulfilling environmental goals. Little has even formed its own recycling organization as a result of the industry's increasing profitability. Every bottle, according to Fisher, is a gift for low-cost retailers. Unreturned bottles generate the greatest revenues. With 16.4 billion single-use bottles flooding the German beverage market each year, retailers might make up to 180 million euros in the 1.5% that is never taken back. According to Jürgen Zeigner, the head of the ZTG, the German group that represents service stations, businesses that manufacture and fill their own bottles are the ones who benefit from single-use empties that aren't returned. Due to the fact that they must pay the 0.25 euro deposit plus 19% value-added tax to goods wholesalers, independent shops and gas stations suffer in this situation. Independent shops and gas stations suffer in this situation. However, clients who purchase a bottle of cola, for example, pay the deposit with the VAT already added. A model for other countries? There is no one solution that works in every country, according to the German State Environmental Agency UBA, which recommended carefully analyzing each scenario to determine what is most effective. However, many corporations who have long opposed the use of deposit systems are starting to reconsider their stance. Wouter Vermeulen, senior director of the Coca-Cola Public Policy Center for Europe, spoke to a portal via email saying, we support well-designed industry-owned deposit return schemes across Europe, where no proven successful alternatives exist. Retorna, a Spanish NGO that promotes bottle deposit programs, is led by Cesar Sanchez. By 2029, 90% of plastic bottles must be collected separately for recycling under harsher European regulations on single-use plastics. He predicted that deposit return programs will soon be implemented in Spain and other nations because society is demanding solutions. Environmental organizations are urging the deposit plan to be expanded to cover all forms of glass and carton packaging, including Tetra packs, even in Germany. These containers might be created for jam or honey, according to Fisher. We want products as well as everything else to be reused. Cited as Britain's model Germany is often cited as the model for Britain's new deposit return scheme or DRS for bottles and cans, which was introduced this week. Germany is known as the recycling world champion, though opinions continue to differ as to whether the program is a case of a half-full or empty bottle, 15 years after its introduction. Additionally, the impact on moving forward with the introduction of genuinely eco-friendly, reusable drink containers has been minimal. FAND is an extra deposit that you pay when purchasing a bottle or can that is refunded to you when the container is returned to the seller. Reverse Vending Machines 
In almost every supermarket in Germany, there are sophisticated reverse vending machines that weigh and scan your bottle in order to compare it to a database of legal forms and sizes. The machine spits your bottle back at you if it isn't on the retailer's list. If they match, the machine sends the bottle down a chute for recycling or shredding and gives you a voucher with a total fan, which you may redeem at the register. Reusable, one-way, primarily plastic bottles cost more to purchase, often 25 cents than glass bottles, which cost between 8 and 15 cents each. The original rationale for the price differential was twofold. On the other hand, it gave consumers more incentive to recycle plastics that would otherwise trash the environment. On the other hand, the greater cost was intended to deter consumers from buying non-reusable drinking containers in the long run. DRS Success The DRS has been a huge success in terms of the first. In Germany, only 1% to 3% of non-returnable bottles are now not recycled, while recycling rates hover around 99%. This is partly because a vast and official sub-economy centered on recycling has developed. Drinks manufacturers are believed to have made more than 3 billion euros, or 2.6 billion pounds, from bottles that were discarded rather than recycled since the DRS program's implementation. An unexpected profit opportunity given the nickname Fanschlupf, or deposit slip. According to Benjamin Bongard of the German Nature and Biodiversity Conservation Union, if Britain replicates the German system, I anticipate it will prove to be a major success in the fight against littering. But it will solidify a system that wasn't particularly eco-friendly to begin with. Much more productive would have been a levy on beverage packaging. That's it guys, a new rule in Germany went into effect in 2019 to dispel the myth that every bottle put into a reverse vending machine is good for the environment. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Leave a like, share with your friends and families, and jot down your thoughts in the comments section below.